Hello, welcome back to another video here at Dutch Today. Are you ready to talk about some confusing words? Because today I want to talk about all, alle, allemaal, helemaal, alles. I hope I can help you understand these words a little bit better today. Let's first have a look at the easiest of these words, which words, words, the easiest of these words, which is alles. Alles just means everything, which we contrast with Iedereen, everybody. Probably most of you are using this word correctly already, but still, let's have a look at some examples. Heb je alles? Have you got everything? Ik eet alles. I eat anything. Ze heeft alles geprobeerd. She's tried everything. Now, as you may notice, for the second example that I gave you, ik eet alles, I translated this as anything, not as everything. That's because in Dutch we don't really have a word for anything, so we just say everything, I eat everything. Of course, this could also mean you eat literally everything, but this should be clear from the context and your stomach ache. The same goes for, for example, when your friend asks you, kan ik iets meenemen uit de supermarkt? Can I bring you anything from the supermarket? Alles is goed, anything is okay. Or at least this is what your friend will understand. They will not think that you mean buy me everything. So on to the next word. The next word is alle, and we use this with a noun. To be more precise, either with a plural or with an uncountable noun that goes with the article de. Alle kinderen zijn aanwezig. All kids are present. Kinderen is the plural form of the word kind. Op dit moment zijn alle huizen duur. At this moment, all houses are expensive. Same thing, huizen is just a plural form of the noun huis. Ze heeft alle melk opgedronken. She's finished all the milk. And milk is a noun that goes with the article de, de melk. Another example, alle chocola is lekker. All chocolate is good. Chocola, chocolate is also a noun that goes with de, de chocola. Alle chocola. Let's move on to al. And this word also means already. Ik ben al in het restaurant. I'm already in the restaurant. But that is not the meaning that we're talking about today. Today we're talking about al as in all. And where we used alle for uncountable nouns that go with de, we use al for uncountable nouns that go with het. Al het geld is op. All the money is gone. Hij heeft al het snoep opgegeten. He ate all the candy. We also use al when we want to use a possessive. Al mijn vrienden zijn op vakantie. All my friends are on holiday. Hij heeft al zijn geld uitgegeven. He spent all his money. And when you want to be specific about something, you can use al also with the words deze, die, dit, dat. Ik heb al deze films gezien. I've seen all these movies. Waar komen al die mensen vandaan? Where are all those people coming from? And when you're talking about something in the singular, we don't use alle or al, we use ieder or elke. And in this case, no, they're not two words that we use in different cases, they're both exactly the same. I would only say that ieder sounds a little bit more formal than elke, but it's not a big difference. We eten elke dag brood, we eat bread every day. Iedere student heeft zijn eigen laptop. Every student has his own laptop. Ik heb elke bladzijde gelezen. I have read every page. So the singular is very straightforward and let's move on to allemaal, which is maybe the most difficult to use because it's a little bit different from the previous ones. This is a word we use when we want to put the word al or alle later in the sentence, not right before the noun. They usually still mean basically the same thing and this is more something that you want to do when you start constructing more complicated sentences or you want to be a little poetic about things. So let's compare all, alle with allemaal and in English this is pretty easy because you can either say all kids are present or the kids are all present. Same word, all, but in Dutch for the second variant we use allemaal. Alle kinderen zijn aanwezig. De kinderen zijn allemaal aanwezig. Alle huizen zijn op dit moment duur. De huizen zijn op dit moment allemaal duur. So except for the sentence structure, and I'll come back to that in a second, uh, nothing is really different. The only time that I would say allemaal is, is really necessary to use or, or really makes a difference is when you're talking about people. Iedereen gaat naar het strand. Everybody's going to the beach. 
We gaan allemaal naar het strand. We are all going to the beach. So in the first sentence, iedereen gaat naar het strand. Everybody is going to the beach. You might understand that basically the whole country is going to the beach because it's very hot outside. But for the second sentence, we gaan allemaal naar het strand. This is a specific group of people. Maybe you and your friends and not the whole country. Ze komen allemaal naar mijn verjaardag requires a lot less grocery shopping than saying Iedereen komt naar mijn verjaardag, because that, again, in theory, could be the whole world. And yes, from context, people will most likely understand that you don't mean to say that the whole world is coming to your birthday party, but just for clarity, it makes more sense to say mijn vrienden komen allemaal instead of iedereen komt. Now, where can you put the word allemaal in the sentence? Let's have a quick look again at the basic structure of a sentence. Subject, verb, object, when, who or what where and then the second verb the main verb if there is one ik ga alle boeken morgen met de studenten in de klas lezen ik ga de boeken morgen allemaal met de studenten in de klas lezen allemaal comes between when and who or what of course you won't always have both in one sentence ik ga de boeken allemaal met de studenten lezen Ik ga de boeken morgen allemaal in de klas lezen. So put allemaal between where in theory when and who or what would be. I said you can use uh, allemaal for countable nouns, but what about the uncountable nouns then? Well, that's the last word I'm going to talk about today, and that is helemaal. So instead of alle, this word starts with hele, uh, which means the whole or complete. Because an uncountable noun is seen as one thing, one unit, we focus on the whole thing. Ze heeft alle melk opgedronken. She's drunk all the milk. Ze heeft de melk helemaal opgedronken. She's drunk the milk completely. Alle sneeuw is gesmolten. All the snow has melted. De sneeuw is helemaal gesmolten. The snow has completely melted. And these two forms can mean exactly the same thing. Although when you say helemaal, you're focusing more on one specific unit than everything. Ze heeft alle melk opgedronken means there is no more milk in the house. But when you say ze heeft de melk helemaal opgedronken, this could be about one glass of milk that she's finished completely. So if you're talking about milk in general, I would go with alle milk, alle milk, alle melk. And when you're talking about a specific unit of milk, I would say helemaal. <laughs> Okay, that's it for today. Uh, if you want to know if you're using these words correctly, peace, peace. Please feel free to leave any sentence that you come up with in the comment section, and I will have a look to see if you're using it correctly. Click like and subscribe, and check out the podcast on uh, Apple Music or Spotify if you think that's something you might be interested in. And see you here for the next video. Oh.